Welcome to FBS Building Systems takeoff uh, pr process. What you see here is that uh, we're going to show you how we do wall takeoffs. Uh, this is a uh, single family residence. In fact, uh, this is the uh, second and third floor. We're going to go over to the first floor, which is here. Um, we're going to check our scale, make sure we're right on that. Um, then we're going to proceed to calling out the various walls. We're zooming in to be sure we get it right. All right, then we go to the uh, exterior walls. We'll select a uh, two by six, nine foot high, sheathed with a 15, 30 seconds OSB. So we're going to select uh, that portion of the wall and we're going to outline it. Okay, we've done the 2x6 walls. We're going to go to the 2x4 walls. We've just completed the exterior walls. Now we go to the interior walls. Select interior walls on sheath. I'm going to go to 2 by 4 9 foot. And we're going to call this out here. Now, despite the fact that this appears to be called out as 2 by 4, we're going to go to 2 by 6 since it's a plumbing wall. Okay, and turn on the legend, and now we have a completed wall takeoff with individual legend, so that uh, anyone looking at it can determine what we've de we've determined here. Uh, the completed takeoff with uh, all the other conditions, such as bracing and everything, would look like uh, look like this. Okay, we put in hardware. In some cases, we put in uh, braces plumb and line material, uh, and a variety of other things. Uh, it turns out these were 8 foot walls, but you get the point. Um, we've accounted, as you see here, for all the pop-outs and uh, architectural details. Uh, this is how we, we do a, uh, a wall takeoff. Uh, a further example I will do down the road is uh, structural material. from the walls. We just find out that that work, uh, works better. So we're going to go down here. In this case it's on a slab so we're going to call out, uh, we'll start calling out on the 2x6 walls. 2x6 uh, zinc borate treated. That's our preferred. Um, we'll use uh, uh, copper treated if uh, need be. It's very similar to the process that we use to do the actual walls. So we don't have, obviously we don't have to differentiate between interior and exterior walls. Obviously there could be three by plate on this. I'm not going to call it out right now, but uh, um. We tend to call out sill plate even under garages, uh, garage walls, simply uh, to ensure that uh, we uh, are allowing ourselves a, uh, a factor to uh, prevent any uh, any errors. So as you see, there's the call out for sill plate. We just did all the sill plate in a very short period of time. Um, as we go through all these conditions, we're building up a, automatically a takeoff list. Um, in this case, uh, the list only has what we just uh, placed because I was doing it as an example. When you do a completed project, uh, you get a very detailed list. Um, you have multiple uh, areas that's called out separately. Uh, we'll go through this in more detail later, but that's an example.
for structural elements, it's a little more complicated um, than the walls. Uh, we'll give you an example here. Uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to check our structural details. So we're going to open a second window that we can continually refer to. Um, this is an example of that. We're going to go through and uh, check our details. We have drag detail 15. It allows us to keep this available for uh, reference while we're doing the takeoff over here. So this, this will remain available to us. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in. This is the foundation plan. We're going to go down and indicate, uh, in this case, slab. This one's pretty easy. We now have 821 square feet of, uh, of slab. Uh, in this case, we have TJI flooring. So we're going to go here. Floor joist, it's a 230. 14 inch. So we uh, proceed to call that out. Note that it places the individual joist. Uh, I am joisting over the stair opening in this case simply to give myself some uh, additional uh, joist to cover us. Um, in this case the joisting is incorrectly aligned so what we're going to do is rotate it and Make sure that uh, if, in case we're doing floor panels, we're going to place it and uh, uh, position it properly so the panel breaks over we wish to have them. So now we have uh, a floor uh, laid out quickly. Uh, this is going to read both the square foot and as uh, individual or total lengths of, in this case, a TGI material. Obviously, the floor has to be sheathed, so we're going to put uh, three quarter inch TNG. is ensure that we're optimizing our TNG so we're going to make sure we're not wasting pieces. Uh, we're going to get a piece count uh, off of this so now I've out aligned it to the corner so we can optimize and not have too many pieces called out. Um, it comes out of square footage in a piece just, uh, just so we can do that. So we've just done the, uh, the floor uh, pretty rapid I would normally go in and put in rim board and a whole series of other um, details. For example, it wants me to put in some posts here. So in this case, it's actually an 8-foot wall. We're going to put the 4x4 four four posts here, 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 and so on. If it's a 4x6 post, as we see it here, we'll put it here. And uh, fill in all the posts in that manner. Now, if there's hardware, we would do the same. Uh, for example, in this case, there's HTT5s. find the HTT5s. So normally we'll be out of the hardware section, but it's a new item for, uh, for us that we're seeing now. So we're going to select the HTT5s. So now we have uh, an indication that we need some of those. Uh, the same will be done for clips, for hangers, beam caps, uh, anything, of, anything else of that sort. So that's a quick idea of how we do uh, uh, structural takeoff. The uh, final product would look like this as it comes up and we would have taken off all the elements if you notice there's hangers included rim board uh, rather extensive lists of posts and beams and everything uh, typically this can be taken off in uh, less than an hour um, total uh, maybe two hours in a very complicated custom three hours it's a pretty rapid process and again um, we have the uh, detail sheet available to us as we need it. This again feeds into the takeoff sheet, which you see here, and we'll list all the components uh, available and we can export this to Excel as well. So that's uh, how we do the structural elements of the takeoff. When we complete our take off using this tool, uh, what we would do then is uh, operate off uh, the materials that's a, that is generated. Um, I showed you that a little earlier. Uh, what we get is a combined list. Uh, it's by category here. Um, 
example, on GLBs, we have these conditions that are selected. It only lists uh, what actually is in the job. It doesn't give us you know, a whole lot of zero areas. Um, as we see here, in this case, plan one has 15 linear feet of 3 and 8 by 10 and a half GLB in one piece. Um, what we'll do is use this as the basis for our uh, cut list as well, but we'll go in and do that uh, after we get the job. Um, in this case, there's a multi-area total, which allows us to put out a, 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 just a, a gross bid list, or we can uh, do it by, uh, by plan. In this case, plan one's got 23 linear feet of one, one each, 21 linear feet in plan two, one each as well very similar. Uh, on the hardware, uh, we're going to come in here, we've got a variety of hangers that have been specified. The same applies here, there's a multi-area total and an individual total. Um, so this lays out as you see it. Um, same with sill plate and other pieces as you see. So this will allow us to export um, a bill of materials that is, from our point of view, very accurate and complete. Um, we also have a worksheet that allows us to do pricing. Uh, these prices are a bit out of date, but uh, you see the point. Uh, this allows us to actually total the uh, entire job based on the, the cost that have been input uh, in a rapid way. Uh, it gives us a general idea here. Now we go through and are more specific as we process the quote, but at least it gives us a, uh, a general number here. So the uh, project is uh, taken off pretty rapidly. This is a 2,300 square foot um, friction home and uh, we were able to uh, do the takeoff in less than three hours.